Hey, thanks for joining me. This is a book that I just, from the instant I heard about it, from the instant I saw the first promotional images, and from the first time I picked up this issue, I was like, I, 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 I don't care. It's absolutely, there's nothing there. And I don't know how much of a hit it was. I believe it said, I looked, but I got, I got to remind myself, 94. So, you know, I think comics were still selling relatively well. But Art T. Bear, who was an inker, from what I, what I know mostly, what I knew him from at the time was an inker. And then I believe he picked up and was drawing the uh, some X-Men after Jim Lee left to go to Image Comics. And he always just felt like his artwork was just a poor imitation of the Jim Lee style. And upon looking at this book again, it's just it's just a hundred percent that. It just seems like kind of like somebody come up with like a like a catchy title. Oh, it's gonna be called Black and White. It's gonna be a man and a woman. And one's gonna wear black and one's gonna wear white. And it's about vengeance and justice and right and wrong and stuff like and oh it just it feels like in trying to come up with something clever it's the least clever of the clever titles um i think i read this once this book one time when i got it years ago and i sat it down i'm like i i'm i'm, I'm done i'm out i'm done there's nothing there and the main thing is that the story was not anything that i i could care about it was just it was so bland and so boring, but worse than that, I, I just couldn't get past the artwork. When you've been reading Jim Lee at this point myself for the past six years, five or six years at this point, and you're just a poor imitation of him, there's nothing here for me. Oh, look, we got the, you know, the balance symbol, black and white. So, story, Art and Pamela Tiber, Tiber, I think is how you say that name. So, I like the idea that I assume that's husband and wife. I like the idea of, like, working on something creative with your significant other. That is interesting. I like that idea. Um, but, yeah, Art Tiber, pencils and inks. It's just, it's extremely bland. It's nothing exciting from a story perspective and from an art perspective. Like, you know, I I have to give it. I, I know I go hard on Rob Liefeld a lot, but his pages have some kind of energy and dynamic vibe to them that is just lacking here completely. There's nothing here that's exciting as much as they try to do this big double page spread and do a big angry face of some guy we don't care about and just a generic hand just lying here flat and whatever whatever is coming through the walls and guy yelling open fire like i feel like art here was trying to do his best i'm sure it is his best at the time but it's just there's nothing good there's nothing that's interesting now again I'm not trying to disrespect the man. He seems like a perfectly decent human being. And I, I believe there was a recent collection of this to re collect it again, recolor it, and re-release it. And I think it was successful, but um, I just, I can't, I can't pick it up. It's such cliche stuff. Some ridiculously costumed superhero with giant shoulder pad things and hair sticking. This looks like a Rob Liefeld design, which is the worst part. It's like this is the best they could come up with. And it's just so boring. I mean, look at that thing. These giant whatever. Like these football pads and just a Jim Lee style face. And some boring guy looking like an English chap and a bowler cap. And I, I don't know. And you know what? I couldn't bring myself to read this thing. I tried. I tried to read it again. And I'm just like, I, I'm a, I can't. I don't know what's going on. And then we got a big, bald, white Lex Luthor guy slapping the shit out of some black woman. That's not going to make anybody happy these days. So then our hero shows up. I believe that's supposed to be the the main hero over here. I don't know. Clocks him in the face. Drama, tension, I guess. Um, I remember looking at this shot. It's... It's a hard angle to draw on a face. That up angle like that, that is, 
that is tricky. And he nailed it relatively well, I think. It still looks a little off-ish. Um, that shot of her eyes and her nose, that's a kind of okay. Then you got the traditional, like, I'm chained up in the sexy underwear. I'm going to arch my back and push my boobies out and have my ass sticking out there while I'm chained up. And he's like, hey, don't worry. I'm here to get you out. Let's go. Let's go be black and white. So she gets freed. She elbows him to the face. That's gratitude for you. She runs out, gets immediately grabbed by a dude. So we're going to fight. So I always thought, I remember reading this years ago and thinking that anatomically this arm and everything looked weird but also it just looks like a significantly less interesting version of Jim Lee's work and if you don't have that magic that Jim Lee does then you're just it's just boring it's extremely boring and I don't know why this like what is his power is he just strong and he can punch people he doesn't have any weapons no no nothing offensive nothing defensive so is he just strong I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to read this. Um, if any of you read this and know what the, the story is, please let me know. Apparently he hates guns, and he says he really hates guns. Um, bloody murder scene. Hot girl with blood on her face. She's yelling that she's coming for you. She's still running around in her little underwear outfit, fight facing off against... A really, really bland-looking robot. Like, that is just some boring, boring robot stuff going on here. And then our hero guy, Mr. Shoulder Pads, just jumps through. He's jumping into the scene again. Gotta save the poor helpless girl. Throws a cell phone or something. And... Jesus. Explosion. Robot shoots out his claw arm and grabs the girl and rips her away. Hero guy is distracted. He gets shot in the back and falls out the side of a building. So, oh no, maybe he's dead. I'm sure at the end of issue one, he's absolutely not dead. But it doesn't even say, like, the end, to be continued, join us next issue. So you, you're just like, okay, next. And then you're like, you could get an image watch if you're stupid. Uh, the missing lost issues of Greg Capullo Spawn, which, you yeah, those are all right. Oh, we got to have some Liefeld advertisements in here. New Blood. Yeah, we were all looking forward to that. Probably the best drawings in this comic are right here. Dale Keown's Pit. Holy Lord, is that incredibly awesome. And I just did Deadly Duo recently. Even this black and white looks good. This is the best artwork in this book right there. Um, I wish I would have been picking this up when it was coming out because I, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of interested to pick it up and see it. But at the time, I'm like, why would I care? Why would I care? Uh, Backlash miniseries. Sylvester and Claremont. That's right. I was like, what the hell did Sylvester and Claremont do? I forgot. But, um... Claremont came back and drew, a, uh, or drew, my lord. Claremont came back and with, got with Jim Lee, and they did a couple issues of Wildcats with Claremont's character, the Hunter, I think his name was. And then he did the same thing with Sylvester in Cyberforce, so that was kind of interesting. We will definitely be looking at those. Um, and they're like, here, tell us what you thought of Black and White. Did you like the story? No. Was there enough action? too much were the characters believable absolutely not um i'm sure they were trying the best that they could do but just it's just in the in the sea of everything that's out there with the amazing artists from image black and white from art t bears just a giant snooze fest who cares like even if the story was boring as shit if the artwork was enough to carry it with some excitement and adventure that would be something but it's not it's not there and it's just not that good so anyway um i mean if you read this and you liked it tell me what what was good about it what did you like about it if you read this i, I assume it was a mini series how far did it go what did the characters do tell me if any of you read this cuz i ain't cuz i don't care Anyway, 
As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.